few weeks ago, I stumbled upon a great James Corden carpool karaoke episode with the Foo Fighters, where they stopped off at a guitar center and played for a few unsuspecting lucky shoppers. Rick Astley's never going to give you up. Given that it was in the middle of the night, my mind wandered to a few of the deals I was then working on that were seemingly taking on a life of their own, leading some at the table to either create, like my mother used to say, artificial shit or get off the pot deadlines, or to fold on critical deal points like a cheap cocktail umbrella, or dare I say it, become one with Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator character as they kill the deal and make like Lou Reed to take a walk on the wild side in search of a different investment, lease, or other transaction. If it's sadly obvious, though, that no level of stamina, creativity, or happy, sad compromise will keep your Jerry Garcia-like deal from going belly up, playing off of the title of a Neil Sadaka song, then breaking up won't be hard to do. That said, with a little help from 18 Foo Fighters song titles, for as long as I can remember, all my life, Deal fatigue has been an unembraceable mindset for me, so much so that when it comes to bringing out the best of you, me, and those I surround myself with and represent, whenever possible, I won't allow myself during an ever-long negotiation of life or business riddled with a monkey wrench or three and too much back and forth to run away from the deal empty-handed when others might think it would be best to let it die. On deals in times like these, even if I must learn to fly on the fly, or when it comes to those on the other side of the bargaining table, I feel exhausted and as if I'm tired of you, or I feel compelled to scream out to my counterparts, good grief, I will not allow myself to let things get personal when my goal is quite simple. If there is a deal to be salvaged, I'm going to try my hardest to make something out of nothing. I'm not saying that the foregoing mindsets always work, but every now and then channeling a I'll stick around and being a generator to a deal on life support will have some at, once again, life's bargaining table saying to themselves that you are not the pretender, but rather my hero.